all that. Um, Omni, I hope you don't watch me, uh, excuse me, I hope you don't mind me watching your video. It's uh, Smashologist, what's going on with you, bro? I haven't seen you in a really long time in the chat. And he says, watch the Omni video. But you know what? Maybe that's the universe telling me what I need to do, man. Smashologist, it's always cool seeing you in the chat, bro. Hope you've been good with yourself. Let's see what the deal is, man. Gonna give Omni some love here. Oh, oh, and he's got some smash going in the background, bro. Break it down, man. Update video and a wrap up video of our last video where I talked uh -huh. to you guys about the potential child predators in the Pokemon community. Honestly, I don't want to drag this out. This is a very important video, so I'll stick to the facts of what's been presented since the last time we've talked. Okay. A summary of the events, and I'll reserve kind of a, a last minute message for you. I'm not even reading the gameplay. I think a Watching the gameplay. I'm just gonna read the chat. Okay. Cool. Let's let's wrap this up. If for some reason you didn't see my previous video on this subject, in summary, many people were coming out exposing PokeTubers for exhibiting behaviors of being a child. Whoa, Christian Sanchez Outside of their says testimonies um, from their experiences. Many of them. Hold on, hold on. Christian Sanchez says, um. The photos of conversations of Nappy. Check Tricky and Nexus's um, timeline. Bro, as a matter of fact, I, you know, I, I had mentioned that Tricky had messaged me about that stuff. Man. And I didn't fucking, um, I didn't read too much of it. It just looked like a lot. There's a, there's a lot of receipts here, man. And I think, honestly, reading through a lot of this stuff, man, even though, like, it is the facts... I just wanted to get nutshelled at this point, which is why I think um, Omni's going to do the job. also provided evidence in the form of DMs and messages that occurred in the past. Bro. So that, many of the accused had multiple victims come out and almost multiple. A, a domino effect. And at the end of the last video, both Decoder and Mudkip Mama at that point in time had already fled the internet by deleting all of their social media, including their YouTube accounts. However, what was still left outstanding was the situation with PokeTuber Nappy, whose last oh, interaction shit. was a long-winded Twitch rant where he talks about a plethora of things within a two-hour span. He deleted the VOD immediately afterwards. Fast forward, eventually Nappy came forward once more on Twitter with an apology. Apparently he was being extremely dismissive and avoiding the subjects. Like, okay, I, I'm i going to speak purely from a state of like, I don't, because here's the thing now, like I'm a little bit of a bigger content creator now, so I have a voice, so I have to be careful with how I word things because I don't need niggas trying to sue me and shit. But apparently there's allegations that not only was the King Nappy trying to date Hoodlum Scrafty, who was another YouTuber out there who does Pokemon content when he was underage, but that the King Nappy apparently allegedly also has an underage partner as we speak, bro. I don't know, man. It's, it's kind of like, oh shit, here we go again, but bro. Etika's being on there. Yo, listen, man. I, I can still be a wild nigga, you know? It's not about me not being like myself. But, you know, I gotta present things uh, in a certain fashion. I can still be real, but I just gotta be, like, allegedly, apparently, supposedly. You know, nothing locked in with facts. Hoodlum Scrafty. What? Yes, nigga. Yes, nigga. Apparently, this nigga... This nigga, King Nappy, bro tried to make moves on this nigga back in the day while he was young real young bro it's fucking crazy man i don't like i can't even put my my someone in the chat just said my mom abused me when i was six years old i'm sorry to hear about that man it, it's it, it's an unfortunate world man a lot of people have to deal with fucked up shit like that growing up man it's crazy but anyways let's continue with the i, I kind of went off topic omni he was doing a really really good job explaining this whole situation Apology. i'm not going to read it because it's pretty long but i'll leave it up here for you guys everything in this fucking everything in this subject is so long man it's like that's the main thing that's been like a problem with this whole um Nick's video has all the evidence in the description. Discretion. Pause Bruh. the video if you need to, okay? The summary of the update is that Nappy took a moment to step back and reflect on everything that has happened. He mentions his intentions were based on good intent, that he's not attempting to deflect, that he feels he could either stand and fight and defend for himself, or he can just recognize what he did wrong and apologize, which he does. He claims that he never... Nappy's most recent kid boyfriend was last year and he was 16, 17. I, I mean, damn, bro. He should know... Dogs, you should know better than that, man. You really should know better than that. What's, what's wrong with this We're meant man? to manipulate people and that he's hurt that people feel the way they do about him. And lastly, he's going to step back and refrain from creating content to put himself in the Find out what the fuck the deal is. So let's continue with this. 
He apologizes to his viewers and fans. Hopes they'll find a good replacement. I had to expose you, though. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, what, what, what do you think this is? Like, the PewDiePie BTS situation, dog? What, you want me to fucking... I'm already following you. You can stop it now. One day, he may return when we're in a better place. From there, more PokeTubers began compiling additional evidence of Nappy's relationship Appreciate with Callum, it. simply reinforcing what Nappy had denied on the stream. It then came to everyone's attention that Nappy currently has an underage boy. This is what I'm talking about here. I mean, even though I was trying to like save it so I read up on everything that's happening on camera, I mean, there are some things that you just can't fucking hold back. And the fact that Nappy had an apparently, allegedly, an underage boyfriend while all this is going down, fuck. Boyfriend, and that this person would be coming out soon with their story and evidence as well. Shortly after this news came out, Nappy immediately deleted his Twitter and locked his Instagram. Eventually, the person in question, Stormy Kingdra, released a twit longer where he discusses the extent of their relationship. Oh! Nappy was 25 at the time, Stormy Kingdra was 16. He was also a very huge fan. 25 and 16 years old? Look, man, there's no room for any leniency. Can I, can I please help, 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 dogs, if you can't, man, you can't, stop, bro. Like fan of nappies. In his twit longer, he corroborates both Game Boy Luke's and Callum's stories as well. He also apologizes wow. several times within the twit longer for the consequences of him no longer being silent about. Didn't, didn't think that the guy was gay. I mean, him being gay has nothing to do with it. But I mean, yeah, if you're, I guess, you know, if he wasn't open about his sexuality before, then it, it would be surprised, like, because... I mean, but then again, you know, nowadays, I don't really put too much value on people's sexuality in the first place anyways. So, you know, that'll always be something that I'm just sort of blase, blase about. But yeah, I can see for some people being like, oh, wow, wait, he, he's, he's, oh, I didn't realize he was not only a predator, but he was also, it doesn't make any, that doesn't make things worse, you know? And I don't want to make people feel uncomfortable and shit like that, man. Because it's like, yo, like, it's, it ain't about him being gay, but it's just like the fact that you fucking, you're out here and you're 25 years old dog you can't be making you can't be talking to a minor like that i don't care how old they look bro like listen if if, if niggas were out here talking about fucking what's her name catch me outside girl like that bro it, it's fucking inappropriate man i don't care how they fuck you can't you can't nigga. That, that's the law bro. along with the twin that's so crazy to me. longer are disturbing exchanges between him and Nappy via Discord messages and eventually text messages once Nappy got Stormy Kingdra's phone number later on. To wrap things up, U Utia D Dada says FBI about to end his whole career, bro. They about to they about to ice beside this nigga. Some people do talk about that girl like that. Marche, I've seen man, and you know it. Dog, I I don't know, man. Like, that that's to me. Is up, just... Game Boy Luke posted a screenshot of Nappy's Twitter activity, showing that before he deleted his account, he was deleting several messages at the time as well. At so he's moving evidence off of his Twitter account too. Okay, man. Now, let me know in the chat. Th this deleting old tweets, th that that's kind of a guilty sign, isn't it? At the time, it was roughly around 80 deleted messages. 80 messages! Interactions and other messaging outlets were also being deleted as well. You'd think that'd be the end of it, but eventually another person came out as well with a screen cap showing Nappy also exhibiting behaviors of flirting with- What you doing? Laying here trying to sleep. Help me, baby. How slow? I don't know. Talk to me, dummy. Text me. I did. You never replied. And this is a minor he's talking to? Young fans. Anyway, that- Young everything. fans?! Again, or wow, it, but eventually wow, another wow, person wow, came wow, out wow, as well. wow. a screen cap. Etika, delete your tweets before it's too late. Listen, man, I don't know if I've ever had sexual advances to children. I don't know if I, I don't know if I've fallen in that category per se. Maybe I should check my DMs. Fuck, nigga. Showing Nappy also exhibiting behaviors of flirting with young fans. Anyway, that wraps up everything, and you again are now all caught up. In my last video, I also forgot to mention Mudkip Mama, a female PokeTuber, was claimed to have engaged with sexual activities with a young guy from the Pokemon community. There was also evidence showing her coming onto other. So young there's people. girls out here hunting for young dick too. Now, now that's just unfortunate, bro. As well within the community. There's another incident like this from a well-known data miner named Mizumi who has also Billy, bro. to date a miner. And so in the last video, I ended on this, hey, if you see something, say something though. Uh, today, I want to address the concept of power, influence, and grooming. But before that, really fast, I'll give my two cents on Nappy. I have remained neutral with Nappy because again, I not feel me. that it is important to not jump to conclusions, you know, and to allow- Okay, so in regards to 
Nigga, the Pokemon community is full of freaks and weirdos, man. It's freaky and nasty over there right now. Maybe there was a reason why I took my leave from that bitch. But obviously, people have asked me in the past because I've had prior beef with Nappy and shit. They've asked me like, oh, did you know about like that shit? And no, of course not. I mean, if I had known about it, would I have talked about it? Yes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> to be honest with you. It's like, I, I wouldn't be able to fucking hold it in at that point. But, you know, I think something like that, they definitely wouldn't have let that be discovered easy. But in terms of Nappy and me, I had done, like, I, I, I feel like I had wilded out on him a little too long. So if you guys remember, I, I offered an apology. I was like, hey, man, we'll be good. We had drama before, but I, I'm ready to move onward, man. And But, but damn, the last thing I would have ever expected is some shit like this, dogs. It's unfortunate, man. And you just hope that he learns his lesson among the whole thing, bro. I'm going to go take a piss real quick. The alcohol is starting to catch up to me a little bit. I'll be right, right but back. Yeah, bro. It, it, there's a lot of niggas out here who, if they see clout, they just get blinded by that shit. Like, the fact that um, JYT earlier was saying how, oh, yeah, we knew about some of the stuff that Decador was doing. And we were trying to talk to him so that way he doesn't do it, man. That's not right, bro. Like... If somebody really, really does that wrong and they're they're walling out here and even if they have like clout and numbers and shit, you, you, you can't just sit on that, man. Like it'll come out eventually. Like that, that's just like bad behavior, you know? Uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I really do want to kind of, let me see. Let me see more of what Omni's opinion is. Attempt to justify their side. In my opinion, no matter how bleak it initially looks, that's just the right thing to do. You shouldn't want to condemn an innocent person as much as you not want to let a guilty person run free. The evidence shown hmm. against Nappy is overwhelming. There is a body count of his victims. Seven Hell victims yeah. All have their own Dog. stories and unique DMs So what is it, Game Boy? This it's... does include people out there who could potentially exist who haven't come out. And as much as I like to hope that Nappy wasn't this type of person, I don't see Bro. an innocent person doing the things that he's done I, I don't see an innocent person my problem you know it's funny because people were saying how nappy was being really uh if you guys watched uh that nigga nappy's live stream apparently he had been he had been talking really avoiding about the issues and not like addressing anything and yeah man i i feel like i honestly had had that same issue with the dude because he was sort of Avoiding it in the same way like back when I had the Poketuber spoiler thumbnail problem with him that you know where the problem with me and Nappy had really started man Back in the old days way before any of you niggas were here when I was doing Pokemon content, right? This nigga Nappy at some point would be posting and putting all these spoilers in the thumbnail and shit like that And I got pissed off because I think it was too much information that was being revealed at one time and eventually i just kind of got like you know what i gotta make a video about this so people know not to put spoilers about who the e fucking the, the, the e4 elite four is and he got pissed off and he came around to the video and was like oh yeah you shouldn't be trying to sneak this at me for views or whatever and so i got pissed i was like i'm not doing this for views because he was a way bigger channel at the time um and yeah it, it just right away i just got this really off vibe from him and ever since then every time i've talked to this nigga nappy i can't explain it bro but it's just i've always gotten this really bad vibe from the nigga so you know words can't explain sometimes what the heart is feeling or experiencing and that that's definitely the case with me and that nigga and nappy man overall do i think he's a bad person person uh automatically if you're fucking trying to take advantage of people who are younger than you just for like extracting clout and stuff i think that makes you a bad person i think it does i mean maybe it doesn't to some people's definition but i think if you use your audience to get something out of somebody who has less than you out of manipulating them and actually not helping them out then yeah you're, you're a bad person man and you know what Maybe maybe it's the wrong. Maybe, maybe I don't know if this is gonna make some people hate me or whatever. But yeah, yeah, you're a bad person instantaneously. So, yeah, I mean, you can improve, you can learn, you can you can get better. That's the crazy thing, you know. Everybody has potential and capacity to learn from their mistakes and to get better. Which is why I guess with all this craziness that's being put onto these niggas, I hope that one day they can truly just learn from their actions and be a better person for the future. But for now, they gotta they gotta go away. They gotta vanish. They've been Thanos. Nobody wants to see him right now. It's gotta be a couple of years. Maybe in the future that'll be different. But for now, um, I think it's good.